Welcome back to Plunderer Anime Review, episode number two. Yeah, I'm just doing episodes because, well, there's a lot of episodes. There's a good amount of episodes to talk about this one. Not like 12, there's like 24 of this one. So this one discussing episode three through five. This, these three episodes are all set in one place. Basically, it's a city that's built in that's built kind of like on on uh, um, mountain but low levels. We have a little bit of Hina and not uh, Nana, where they're basically like question about Lake. Of course, they're worried about him, and then Jail himself, Jail Murdoch shows up. By the way, Jail Murdoch is voiced by, of all people, David Matra, which I believe this guy is also known for voicing Shudo from My Hero Academia. Yep, and that's only episode three. They also pretty much have it where his the, his episode debut also has debut of at least two other characters. One, of course, is Lila Me, who is voiced by Elizabeth Maxwell. And apparently, Elizabeth decided to give him give her a very much younger voice. Like you, I mean, when you listen to her, it seems like though they changed her pitch, where she's like a bit lower. Where she acts younger than she actually is. This one I like in the case of when she voiced Alberto. Of course, I haven't heard the current season of Alberto yet. So, it's kind of weird that her voice sounds a little different now when she voices stuff. But, can you believe this animal came out just two years ago? Yes. So, they use her where she basically does a lot of volunteer work for the town. Then, like, her mission is to, let's just say, hunt down criminals. In a pretty much, basically, not, not very peaceful town. We also debut one winner character, Gaspic Zergren, and he's voiced by Austin Tindall. It'll be something to talk to him about this series when I chance to meet him on Friday. Yep. Now, in the case of basically, aside from the brief thing in episode 3, Hana and Nana don't really play a role in these episodes at all. They just seem briefly the start of it, and they're seen one other time after this after they fix the bar that was damaged by Jail, and they go out looking for Licht. That's simply what they do here. Excuse me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much in a way, uh, with, with these episodes, like, we have it where Licht basically spends a lot of the time in these episodes wearing a mask a lot of the time and wearing a pudding costume. They refer to him as Mr. Pudding. Yep. Well, apparently, despite the fact they kind of, they, they kind of do this thing where, oh, let's go on a date. Yes, a date. With Lyle, or at several points, basically he's groping her on her thighs and her breast, and also, believe it or not, that he's also looking at her panties, like a lot because basically she wears a mini skirt. She doesn't like wearing a damn thing. I mean, from her perspective, she fantasizes. Oh, her her partner thinks oh she should wear like a skirt. She's like, no, I want to wear freaking pants. So I can be with something my, my panties. <laughs> There's a joke about the panties Ooh. later on. And eventually, then, after she finds a season again, she chases around the town. The whole town chases. Of course, they think that, oh, he's the boyfriend, you know, that not really dating. And, and of course, he knows that, well, of course, Licked, while he's uh, hiding from her, despite the fact he's with us from afar, he knows that she's a good Ooh. person and also, <laughs> yeah. Not only is she a good person, but also she can actually can be like a pretty like doesn't like she's very clumsy. She does care about the talent she's in. So basically comes back out and well chases him again. Even though she also fixes up her uh, fix up a little girl's doll, which he broke it, so he volunteered fixed it, and, and he resumed chasing him. And then he then he just very politely he notices something coming at him, so he basically pushes her back. So she doesn't get paled by the spikes. So, he think, of course, she thinks that, well, her, her superior jail basically, basically impaled him. He's like, nope, I didn't impale him. He's he's faking it. And, of course, by the way, if you're his number, that like, you think it's, at first, it's 900. It's actually over 12,000. 12,500. Yeah, this is during his brawl with, with Licht. And he forms, like, these middle pillars. Yeah, they mentioned all of them got ballots in here. They actually explain that in here really well. 
Where it's kind of like a power device that's most what used for. Yep. And let's see what else. Uh, oh yeah. So, and then eventually he he gets out. Of his little, like at one point he gets captured, and then eventually he gets whipped. For, to figure out how the heck is he even still around despite the fact the war happened three hundred years ago, and why is he called an ace? Of course, a lot of this know about the ace stuff. So no, no, like she thinks knows, but she really doesn't. So. <laughs> Eventually, he breaks out because he was holding back the whole time because the town was very peaceful. So he jumps off with her and notices that she's heavy. And, well, after being after Jael holds her, like, he agrees she's heavy. He thinks because, well, eating sweets. I read she's actually very brownie. Probably because of all the workout she does. It's probably a lot of muscle. Yep. <laughs> And her whole thing is about building a playground for the kids to play on. So because there's not much stuff to do in this mountain, so why not build a park for them? At first, he tears it up, and then he realizes, though, yeah, I probably should build it. And then he basically decides to make the playground. And he says, okay, that'll be up for three days, and three days we'll go after him. Meanwhile, though, get this thing properly fixed and build a proper playground for them. And they do. And the court makes a giant chair for himself. And he ends up fixing a little girl's doll, which got broken again in, this, in these episodes. Yep. But, good episodes. But you could say, not a lot happens. Like, a lot of the big, a lot of the really characters that happens in episode 3. And then, basically, have it where, like, episode 4 is Chase, and episode 5 is the battle. This is a three-part story. But, it's basically part of the very first story arc of the series, which takes the first ten episodes of the series. And with this episode, I'm half of this story arc. Yep. But that much I'll say these episodes, they're good. Okay, so that's episode of you. Uh, I think I have time to do one more video tonight. So I'm going to go through episodes 6 to 8. Okay, next video. Bye.